So, uh, yeah, I was uh, browsing the interwebs the other day, and, um, well, I found something really, really interesting. It reminded me of something, you know? It reminded me of something that happened, you know, a few months ago, where, no, no was it six months ago, maybe? Where, I don't know. I don't know, it just, just seems really familiar. I can't pick up what it is. So, it's just a strange... Oh, it's just a strange thing, but, you know, it's just one of those things that you've got to, got to see. I'll show you. It really does... Oh, fucking hell, piss me off. Okay, check this out. And tell me what this reminds you of. It's all coming back to me now. Oh uh, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Here. be the bluff stumbled upon Paranormal Works' videos and thought, aha, I don't know a certain product I could use. No, 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 it's nothing like that, okay. This product is called the Eagly Wheel, and it's meant to, well, Huff is going to explain what it's meant to do. It's meant to work by your energy. You can move this wheel by doing all sorts of things with your hand, but it's very disingenuous. It says it's all to do with your, your, your energy and vibrations and nothing to do with that. Do you know what it is? It's heat. It really is. Now Huff will try and disprove the heat in this, and I'll show you why he actually proves that it is heat. It, it, of course he won't realise that, but doesn't care because it's a narrative. The narrative is that energy... By the way, he'll go on about love is energy. Love is an energy, you doofus. Love is an emotion, not an energy, you know? So, with further ado, let's uh, go back to this and kick some bluff ass. Fuck you. Coming. Yes, yes, I know. Anyone who does a bluff video is just as bad as Huff himself because you're just clickbaiting all the way through. Just to put something to rest, click clickbait is where you put a title and it's nothing to do with what you're putting on. So that's not clickbait. Anyway, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Fuck you, all of you. <laughs> I bet that spirit box said that. Hey, it might have done, but I want to. I would want to see the session that Huff did with that, the full session, not just just a little clip there, because he's a bugger for layering all at you. But I would love to see the full session of that, and if it does say it works, it's plausible, it's possible. You know, spirit box. It's not uh, his stupid decorated guitar amp, is it? It's a, it's a real spirit box, which he is selling for over two or three grand because there's only ten of them in the world. Yeah, it's a DR60 turned into a, a spirit box via some reason somehow. Actually, it's not radio. It's not a DR60 at all. It's, 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 it's an actual product that is a radio that looks like a DR60, but it's not a DR60, and obviously they've snipped a wire or cut a chip or whatever. Cut a chip. You know what I mean? To make it a spirit box. Very cool. I, I really like it. I really actually like it. But two thousand pound or whatever it is nah you're alright bluff you carry on but this is a clever thing as well with this eagly wheel it's another money maker because of course he's going to link it in a minute he's going to link it and you can buy it of course each one you buy wow it's a uh, commission to him from Amazon you see he's very good very good but the narrative is what we're talking about here the narrative The Aguili wheel was invented 25 years ago by Mr. George Aguili. It is said that we can focus our energy, our chi, our aura energy, to move the wheel in any direction we like. It's a simple device, a base, a wheel, a spindle that the wheel could balance on so it has the freedom to move in any way at any time. 
comes with simple instructions. But the question for me was, could I move the wheel with just the power of suggestion, using my mind, my energy, and focusing that energy to manipulate not only the motion of the wheel, but the direction of the wheel as well? I bought one. Pretty toes, isn't he? They just love his toes. Ugh, I freaking hate toes. Toes are disgusting, man, including mine. T keep your toe jammed to yourself. I bought one on Amazon to find out. Those of us who do spiritual work can probably get the wheel to move easier than others. As we are used to harnessing our energy, we are used to meditation, we are used to visualization. Now he's padding out the narrative. It, it adds to his cause of like, why to buy a wonder box and putting your hand on that, that, that bloody copper wire, you know, human energy and all that malarkey. Pretty clever. Chi. Chi's not even a thing, man. It really isn't a thing. And you want to see some chi? I'm going to show you some really powerful chi now. So check out this awesome, awesome chi. Don't mess with the chi. Fuck you. What I have found is that concentration and focus allow us to move this wheel faster and with more direction. The directions tell us when using our right hand, the wheel should move counterclockwise. When using our left, it should rotate clockwise. One of the advanced ways to use this or to show if you have strong energy is to get the wheel to move in the opposite direction. If one can do this, then your energy is strong. I wanted to dig into this device and find out more about what it is, how to use it, and how to train with it to see if my energy focus improves while using this device. It all starts with love. It all starts with energy. We are energy. Our soul is energy. There's that mushy narrative again. Love is the key, guys. Love is the key. Without love, you're going to get no communication from your spirit box, I promise you. Love has nothing to do with it. It really, really doesn't. I'm sure respectfulness can help. Um, but he, he's touting that love is like an energy. Love is not an energy. It, it is. It's an emotion. It is an emotion. The crap and quackery that these people bring. It's lucky he's not one of these weird... Doctors, you know, like not a chiropractor necessarily, or well, maybe a chiropractor, but go go watch Jeff Holiday and, and see the quackery that is going on. It's lucky he's not one of them. I suppose that's why I am. I'm the Jeff Holiday of the paranormal. Oh my god. Energy. This device can help us to focus the energy. So when using or practicing with this device, because you are practicing to try to focus and harness your energy better. Um, the more you use this device, 10, 15 minutes a day, it is said that the easier it is to move um, and the farther away you can have your hands from it to move it. Now, as shown, you don't have to move your hand. It basically works by heat, doesn't it? Of course, you're going to debunk this, but your tests are flawed. I'll come to the test in a minute. I'm also going to link in the description, guys, uh, a website or two to, sh to show you, okay? It's, it's a bit disingenuous, but meh. That's what you gotta do if you wanna sell your product, you know? There's no regulation on this kind of thing. Move your hands at all, that's not how this works. I find moving my hands help me focus the energy easier, but some will say this might be causing some sort of a draft that moves the wheel, so later I'll put it under a glass container to give it a test that way. Those who do work as I do, the number one thing we work with is energy. Spirits use our energy. We hone in on the spirits' energy themselves. Citation needed, Mr. Bluff. Citation needed. Where, where's the proof of that? There is no proof of what you just said whatsoever. None at all. And, oh look, I work with spirits too, if you like. Okay, so, you know, I'm not on the level of being a medium or anything like that, so to say. A real one, by the way. But, Jesus, man. You cannot just 
put your flag down and declare victory because every time you say it's been proven by me you never point to a video of where it's been proven or a place or wherever it's been proven never you never give a citation or a link or, or anything like that you just have said so so it must be it, it, that's just how it is must be so working with energy um, it's always a good idea to try to learn how to harness your energies more and more As you can see here, I'm just making a finger gesture down in the bottom corner and then I stop and make the finger gesture here and it goes in the direction that my finger is circling. Not even really close to the device here. I don't doubt we can make that thing move real easy with the heat of your hand near it, yeah, but, but there's a lot of jump cuts on those shots, Mr. Bluff. You don't know if he's just spun it and just gone taking a shot because it looks pretty cool because one of them was spinning quite quick. I doubt that was his hand on that one. I bet he just spun it for that really cool and just take a fucking shot of it. I just wouldn't put it past him, honestly. It was just so disingenuous. As you can see here, I tried the same move as earlier, but I'm not focusing at all. I'm not focusing on that wheel spinning in the direction of my finger, and it's not. Here I even spin it manually to the left with the goal of stopping it or getting it to turn the other way. Now when I look back at this part right here, it's almost as if a draft was created by my hand, and I want to rule that out by putting this under glass, and I'll do that here in a minute to see if I can still get it to move. Yeah, that, that shot of it works in the spirit box is looking more and more like it's laid. You see how slow and jittery it was? I mean, I don't know if he'd done that just for effect or whatever, but usually when he does that, it's something really fishy. You know, don't, don't mess about with your evidence, guys, if you're doing spirit box to make it look cool because it just comes off as if you're trying to hide something, you know. Always be raw with it. So it might have been a genuine one, but I, I want to see the full session. If you did a session with it, you know, or just left it there. No, I, I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. That's not very far. It worked. Just for fun, I set the Panabox spirit box radio down. Immediately hear a voice say it works. I keep doing the same manipulation with the energy, the wheel moves, and then I ask a question. Is my energy moving this wheel? When you have a nice little jump cut, is my energy moving this wheel? Jump cut. It is. Nah, man. Nah, man. That's just old school bluff. This device, as I said earlier, has been out for 25 years. It's been looked at from skeptics and believers alike. Skeptics feel uh, that air or heat may affect the motion of the wheel. And I can see how they see that, especially with me moving my hands. But here in a second, I'm going to try uh, with a mask over my face to avoid air breathing. I'm going to try it with cold gloves and I'm going to try it with a glass cover. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. That's very rapey. <laughs> with more use of the eagly wheel, I become more and more fascinated. It becomes more and more evident that our energy is able to be manipulated by us. We are able to harness that energy and with focus and meditation, we can take our aura energy, our chi, our soul. <laughs> Whatever it is you want to call it, we can take that energy and manipulate 
the energy. Now this is not really spirit communication going on here, but it is a part of what I do because this tool will help me to hone in on my energy and how and teach me how to focus the energy um, and that goes a long way with developing a spirit connection to the other side right there we are building the narrative it is it's poetry it, he's good he's so he's come a long way hasn't he guys i mean that's the biggest absolute fake that goes he has come a long long way round of applause to the other side here in a minute I'm going to freeze some gloves put some gloves on and show you it's not heat that's moving the device this is just a video to show that we need to train and develop our abilities we need to learn how to focus our energy and when we do that, it goes a long way uh, in determining how successful we are with connecting with the spiritual realm and establishing communication with spirit. Okay, so, heat. He's put a freezing cold glove on it, over it, okay? That glove is going to be colder than the other side of the air, if that makes sense. Like, the laws of thermodynamics, man. So, you've got the cold air. You, you, you know how like a thunderstorm works? Low pressure, high high pressure kind of thing? It's that kind of deal, you know? You've got the cold, really cold there. It's not literally heat as such, but it's hotter on the other side, which is going to make it spin. With me? This isn't a good test at all. It needs needs more. I, I don't know how you really go about this, but it's, it's debunking its heat anyway. It's, it's official anyway, but you get the gist. With only four days of practice with this, each time I use it now, the easier it gets to manipulate the movement. So now I want to try putting it under a glass container, which will rule out heat, air, anything getting to the wheel. I'm not sure if I'll be able to move it, but I need to give it a try because I have seen a few people move this wheel under glass. Now I've heard it takes extreme energy to move behind glass. The inventor says it's hard for our energy to penetrate the glass, but that could also be someone saying, well, making an excuse because of the air debate, right? So to me, at this point, I'm having no luck moving it uh, on my first try under glass, and I'm starting to doubt uh, and starting to think maybe this is air that's moving the wheel. Mr. Huff, it's heat. I, mean, I don't know why you didn't do five minutes of research, but I know why, because of the narrative that you want to pull to keep those decorated guitar amps that you've got on a factory line being sold still to people who really don't understand ITC, and it's so, so sad that they are getting all the wrong misinformation. You won't be able to tell them. You won't be able to tell them because, you know, for them it's kind of embarrassing to admit they made a mistake, you know? That amount of money as well. Oh, dear boy. Oh. Even so, I'm a big believer in belief, and I believe I can get this to move with practice and energy, even if it takes me uh, 20, 30 minutes of meditation before each attempt. So I'm now in my living room with the glass over the dial, uh, and I'm trying, I'm focusing I'm putting all my energy into trying just to move this even a little bit because even if I can get it to move a little bit, it proves that we can use our energy even through this glass and it proves that it's not air or heat moving the device. Is this on purpose or not? Or it's just you because you don't actually think these things free, Mr. Huff, but proving it's not heat from this device? Uh, there's a candle there. A nice big warm candle. That's going to warm that side of the glass up eventually, isn't it? Think about it. Let's have a look and carry on and see what happens. But here I'm having a hard time 
Uh, but let's see what happens as I continue to focus. When you're trying to achieve something such as this or communication, never allow yourself to get frustrated. As long as you stay open-minded, believe, and focus that energy, eventually you will have success. It took some time and a lot of effort and about 20 minutes of sitting there focusing, but I finally did get the wheel to move under the glass. As the glass got warmed up by your hand and the candle. Oh, Jesus Christ. Quackery. And just like that, no more movement, just a little bit there at the end. This is a great device. Links in the description below if you want to find out more information about the Igili wheel. Um, also, thumbs up and subscribe if you like my work. There's a Thanks, I think we'll cut it off right there. Oh, dear me. So that's the Igili wheel that he's using to further the narrative of, you know, this whole shtick. The whole thing. The whole of is a key thing. All of it. Uh... I was asked to look at this by Diabolical Witness. Uh, I'll see if I can link him in the description. Go, go sub to him. He's got more subs than me. He's got about 7,000 odd. He's, uh, he's really good, actually. I've watched a few of his videos. Um, he does have a DR60, and he says, Don't rip the piss out of me because I use a DR60. No, oh, mate, mate, mate. Let me talk about the DR60 quickly. Like I said, with the difference between you and Huff, Mr. D Mr. Uh, Diabolical Witness, is I bet he, like, DR... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. EVPs are certainly, you know, possible on a DR60. They really, really, really are. The difference is between you and Huff is Huff will probably present the internal mechanism noise as the EVP. You probably know what the EVP sounds like on there, the difference between them. Basically, if it's not clear, it's a load of garbage, it's probably not an EVP, but I won't ever rip you for that, don't worry. Uh, it's like apps, everyone's like, I use apps, well, okay, but uh, you know, apps do have a place in a way, I, uh, you know my thing on this. Anyway, take care, much love, and all the best, and it's going to be shout out time quickly. Hello Furlist, how are we doing? Special shout out time. I'd like to shout out to the following people. Listen carefully, as I'm going to try and pull a move for each each shout out. Try. Steve Holte, there you are. Or Catherine Holte, more precisely. Oh look at that. Marion Heels. Denise Seren, butcher your name. Ah, Keith Brisker, or partner of, Jeremy, Jeremy Reed, oh yes, Jeremy Reed, long time, long time Patreon, thank you Jeremy Reed, thank you so much, hope you do well in your new job, as uh, Natalie needs one too, uh, oh she's got one, just going through some shit and no one information left, right, centre, you know you've sent it like three times, never mind, uh, Digital Ink Arts, thank you very much, I don't know, I do know you're running, but I can't get to the thing right now, uh, Rachel Hammond, uh, Vincent Kites, I think I've butchered your name, sorry if I have, Sharon Palmer, thank you so much, Silent Guardian Furtless, you keep us afloat, you really do, thank you, uh, there's one time when we really were in trouble and yes, thank you mate, thank you so much. Alice Blue as well, she's also amazing, and finish off DNA Paranormal. And that is my win for today. Thank you so much, Furtless. Thank you so much. Take care. All right, Furtless. If you like the channel and you like what we do, and you like to support us, especially if you don't really make much money on here in terms of ad revenue, I'm, d I'm not really demonetized that much. We only get about 400 views, so I don't really make a lot. But if you want to keep us going, supported, and uh, while Natalie's waiting for her job, eh, uh, links in the description. Nobody has to. There's not a gun to your head. Or anything like that. Every YouTuber has this at the end. You should have clicked off ages ago if you think this is offensive. But what the hey. Anyway, take care first and I'll see you real soon. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for everything. You guys rule. Take care. Much love. Oh, did I say that I'm going to be in a magazine soon? An online article? I'll tell you about that later. Another time. When it's out. All the best. Much love. Fuck you. Fuck you. All of you. <laughs>